Oh my god guys, finally, this is it. Open source has finally beaten GPT-4 thanks to the release of a very special model. Hello humans, my name is Kayo Air Overload and oh my god, I can't believe this. Like this is it. This is the beginning of the end for OpenAI because like 24 hours ago, we got the release of some incredible new open source LNM models and even one model that surpasses what GPT-4 can do. This is really super exciting. So that being said, sit back, relax, Enjoy your Sunday because tomorrow it's Monday and let's go. MTP7B. This is the name of a new series of models developed by a company called Mosaic ML. So what is exactly the MP7B model? Well, it is a brand new open source LNM model trained from scratch on 1 trillion tokens of text and code that is open source, available for commercial use and matches the quality of the Llama 7 billion parameters model. And it only took Mosaic ML 9.5 days with zero human intervention and around $200,000 to create this model. And the reason why it's so incredible is that a lot of our current LNM models are fine-tuned version of the Llama models, which is kind of like an illegal leaked model created by Facebook that is only really available for researchers and cannot be used for commercial use. However, now, thanks to Mosaic ML, we have a brand new set of models that has the same level of quality as the Llama models, but this time they are completely open source, meaning that anybody can use these models, fine-tune them however they want and either release them to the public or use them to start a new company. And what's even more incredible is that we did not get only one model, no 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 no, we got four different models at the same time. We got the base MT7B model, the MTP7B model instruct, the MTP7 model chat and of course the best for last, the MTP7B StoryWriter 65K. Now, what exactly are all of those models? What do they mean? Well, first of all, the base MTP7B model is exactly like the Llama 7B model, meaning that you can't really use it as is, you need to fine tune it for specific use cases. And this is what the other models are. For example, the MTP7B Instruct is a model that was fine tuned for short form instructions, like for example, if you ask that model to convert the following information to the JSON format, it can do it very, very easily. The MTP7B chat is the type of model that you're most familiar with because it is a chatbot like model, just like ChatGPT. So you can have a conversation, asking questions, and use it for a bunch of different applications, exactly like ChatGPT or the current LLM models that you're using right now. But then we have the last, very special, pretty revolutionary model the MTP7B Story Writer 65. K, which is a model that was originally designed to read and write stories and that has a context length of more than 65,000 tokens, which can actually go as much as 84,000 tokens. Now for those of you who don't know what tokens are, I've already explained this in a previous video, but tokens are kind of like pieces of text that language models use to understand and create new text, which can be like words, phrases, or even single letters, and LLMs use those tokens to process and generate text in a way that makes sense to humans. But tokens are also kind of like the memory of the different LLMs. Like this is the amount of information that each LLM can process at one time. Meaning that the more tokens your LLM can process at one time, the more information it can incorporate and extrapolate. And most local LLM models that you use today have all a context length of around 2000 tokens. GPT-4 for example, the one you use in your browser, have a context length of around 8000 tokens. Now the full complete version of the GPT-4 model is around 32,000 tokens, which I think is still not available to the public. However, this new open source MTP7B StoryWriter 65,000 model, as its name implies, has a context length of more than 65,000 tokens, which is basically more than double of what GPT-4 can do, which is just insane. And for example, this is what they did with that. They actually inputted an entire book called The Great Gatsby, which had almost 60 8,000 tokens and then they ask that model to generate an epilogue following the story and all of that in one single go. I mean this is absolutely insane. Like do you even understand the possibilities without 
this kind of technology. Imagine feeding an entire book, an entire story, and then ask that model to write the rest. Or feed an entire super complex paper and then ask it to summarize it, create a conclusion, make some observations, etc. etc. Or even, for some of you fans of role playing, this could be the solution of the short term memory for your characters. Because with 65,000 tokens, you'll be sure that your character will have a huge memory. So, yeah, this is really awesome. The applications for that technology are just endless. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Okay, 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 that's great and all, but uh, I wanna try them out. Can I try them out right now? I want to have fun with these models. And the answer is yes and no. Now, they do work. I didn't manage to make them work on my computer, but that doesn't mean that you will be able to. And there are two reasons for that. Now, the first reason is because these models are very, very new. They literally just came out, so they're not optimized for consumer GPUs. So, like, if you want to run the story writer model, you need, like, a 3090 or a 1490 GPU, at least for now. And the second reason is because, well, these are brand new models based on a brand new architecture, so they don't really work that well inside the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. But again, maybe by the time that you watch this video, we might have a 4-bit version of that model that can run perfectly inside the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. But as I'm doing this video right now, this is not possible. Now I'm still gonna show you how to do it, for those of you who can run it, but don't get your hopes up, because again, it is super early tech, so I suppose for now just enjoy the news. This will definitely get better over time. Now the two models that I will show you how to run on the story writer model and the fine-tuned chat model. And actually I gotta tell you, I tried out the chat model of camera and I was very pleasantly surprised by the results. It really performs on the same level as the wizard NM model, which was fine-tuned on the Llama 7B model. So when Mosaic NL says that their models matches the quality of Llama 7B, they are really not lying. This is really impressive. Especially because again, it was only done in nine and a half days for a cost of two hundred thousand dollars because I'm sure that Facebook spent way more money creating their llama models. Oh, and by the way, if you just want to try out some of those models, like the chat model or the instruct model, you can use the following online demo without installing anything. Now, I'm sure that there will be in, like a huge queue, so don't expect everything to be super fast. But if you want to try them out, I will leave a link to these demos in the description down below. Alright, so before we even attempt to try to run these models, first, of course, you need to download and install the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI. And if you haven't done it already, again, I've made a video for it. So watch this video first, then make sure that you run it the latest version of the web UI by running the update windows.bat file, which will download and install the latest version of the web UI. And then we're gonna need to modify a few files. So first you're gonna go inside your tech generation web UI folder. Then you're gonna select the settings template in the JSON file. Then you're gonna make a copy of that. So control C, control V. And then you're gonna rename that file to settings.json. So then you're gonna right click, edit with notepad, and then you're gonna modify line 17 and line 19. That says truncation underscore length, and you're gonna replace 2048 by 65,000 in truncation length max, you're gonna input 65,000 too. And then you're gonna save the file. So then back in the root folder, you're gonna right click on the start windows.bat file, edit with notepad, and here just above the line call python webui.py, you're gonna input this line right here that says call pip install EI nops and then you can save the file and then you're gonna run the web UI and once you're inside the web UI we're gonna download the story writer model for this you're gonna click the link in the description down below you're gonna arrive on this page then click on this little icon right here to copy this entire name then you're gonna go to model and then you're gonna paste that name right here and then click on download now I'm not gonna do it because again I've already done it before this will download the model into the models folder and now once you've downloaded the model what you're gonna do is that you're gonna close the web UI and then you're gonna modify the web UI the PY file File. So just right click and edit with notepad. And here, for me on line 146, that says python server.py, you're gonna input the following arguments, which I will leave in the description down below. So just copy and paste them right here and then save the file. And now if you launch the web UI again, you will be running the story writer model. Now for this model, make sure that you have auto devices disabled and that you have selected none for the parameters. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Now, although this model works, do not expect being able to use the 65,000 tools tokens with your consumer GPU, because you will run out of memory very very fast. Like as of right now, this is really just a proof of concept, because like for example, what you can do is for example go to Wikipedia, take the entire article or part of it, then paste it right here 
which if you click on count tokens, is almost like 7,000 tokens. And then if you write a section like question and answers, where you input a question, like for example, what does AI use smart traffic like for, which is kind of like the last section of the article, with a space for answer. And if you click on generate, it should produce an answer. But unfortunately, since I am recording a video, it is literally using all of the resources of my computer. So I mean, as of right now, I'm literally running out of CUDA memory. But I mean, here's the proof. I literally did this off camera and it worked. But again, as I said, do not expect this model to work right now. It is really not optimized for consumer rate GPU. And even if you have a very powerful GPU like a 3090 or a 4090, the results will be super, super, super slow. Like this model right now is not really usable. Again, as I said, this is really just a proof of concept and it works. But again, as always, I'm sure that very quickly, very soon, you'll be able to use this on your computer with a normal GPU. Like this is really just the beginning. And if you want to know how the chat model performs, again, as I said, it is actually pretty good. Now, again, it is still not optimized. So you still need a very powerful GPU to run. Now, right now, I'm not going to be using the chat GPT trick to kind of compare it with another model. I might do it in a separate video once we have an optimized model. But I mean, again, if you want to try it out, just copy the name, paste it right here, download the model, then select it in the list. Make sure that again, you're not running with auto devices on and you have selected none for the parameters. And for this model, you can of course use the chat interface and then you can have a conversation. And the model is actually very, very fast. Now, for example, I'm going to try not to cut the video to show you how fast the model responds. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? So yeah, it's really, really, really fast. Like in around one second, it wrote an entire sentence. This is really super fast. So let's actually do some quick testing to show you how good the model is. Like for example, using similar questions from our previous video, like for example, what is the capital of Canada? That would be Ottawa in Canada. I hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any other inquiries or concerns. Well, at least the model is pretty polite. Now a very simple translation question with, of course, my legendary sentence. And we have a super good translation, by the way. Now, like really, really good. Like I'm actually really impressed because the translation is pretty much perfect, except a little missing word right here, but it is like 95% correct. So really, really good. So how about a small math question? Solve this equation to y plus 10 equals 20. And we actually got a good answer. My God, what is going on? Is this the new 7B King? Like as of right now, it is doing better than Wizard LM. So I'm really super impressed. So the next question, write me the code for an HTML page with a button that when pressed changes the background to a random color, which give me something like this, but I want it in an HTML page. So if I ask write the code for a full HTML page and we got this, which, oh my God, wait a second. I'm going to select this code. Then I'm going to edit the HTML page, paste the code, save the file. And now if I run it, I get something like this with a button and if I press on it each oh my god <laughs> um uh guys um um I remember when I made the video about the seven billion parameter king uh yeah we might actually have a new king here oh my god what is going on like by the way this is not supposed to be in the video like I like I was not expecting these results by the way like this is just me playing around but uh, as you saw um yeah um like this model performed better than even wizard lm so um well uh well i i don't even know how to end the video oh my god jesus i mean i didn't even want to do the chat gpt comparison but in the end we got super amazing results now of course this could be because the model is actually a full model and not a quantized version of that meaning that since it is using a bit more vram it is also more performant meaning that maybe if we had a 4-bit version of that model it would be worse than the wizard nm one but i mean for now this is really super impressive and and even the 65,000 tokens model, even though it's only the beginning, the fact that you can even run it right now, even though nothing is optimized right out of the gate, like this is really super impressive. Like these are really super impressive models. And these are only 7B models. Like imagine what kind of quality we would get once we have fine-tuned version of those models for 13, 30, 65 billion. Like the results will be insane. Like I'm just, I, I, I don't know, I don't even know what to say. Say. This is really a revolution. I'm 
really super excited for the future. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm really super impressed. I cannot wait for the futures of these models. And even the models that we got right now, that you could try right now on your computer, these models are really super, super impressive. And although they're not really super well optimized, and they're more like a proof of concept, the fact that this already exists in open source form is really super exciting for the future. So again, if you have the GPU power, you should definitely try them out. They are really super impressive models and I'm just really super excited for the future. This is really really cool. And there we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.